Technology is ever evolving, so is the disrespect of humanity. At one moment we are amazed at our achievements in robotics, then in artificial intelligence. But one man had a vision to bring AI to the next level by incorporating the sheer essence of human behavior but also to be able to control it for users around the world. The next level of gameplay. Imagine being able to harvest the basic aspects of what makes us human, but also to be able to control their movements like in a game and then allow the human nature to make the next move, as a sort of back and forth between human consciousness and the user. Where would you get a willing participant to allow a full download of their consciousness? Essentially leaving them brain dead. It's a lot easier to just take and not ask, and those that are terminally ill will never know. You just need to get a doctor who is willing to be your go-between. This is Brian, he knows the truth, and wants to undo this disgusting practice that not only steals the sheer essence of a person, but also their soul for nothing more than just the enjoyment of the end users. This is Mary, to her each day is a normal, but knowing that sometimes she makes decisions that just don't make sense to her. But as time has gone by she notices that some things are just not right, Sometimes she hears voices but usually just corks it up to her being overworked or overstressed. Now she can hear voices from others at the same time saying, make her do this, make her do that, and then she finds herself doing those things. She calls Justin her boyfriend to tell him what's been going on and he tells her that she is just stressed out from work since she works late nights for an important international company and she just needs more sleep. Brian is just the person to create the hack to disrupt all of this, but he needs it way in. An employee at Minds Alike was just the person to allow Brian the opportunity to get into the system, Brian just needed a few minutes into the company's computers to allow his virus to take hold. And just like that, the perfect opportunity arises and Brian uploads his virus. Brian also reaches out to Mary as he's been watching her interactions in the system and attempts to tell her the truth. At first she is annoyed by this stranger's call considering she is on her way to the airport, but Brian says he'll send her an email explaining everything and to please believe him. Brian's virus is set to unleash the next day. Mary spends her day roaming around town after taking a red eye back home the night before. She thinks about Brian's email and wonders can this really be just a computer program that her mind has been uploaded into. Then glitches begin to happen, she's scared and calls Justin to tell him about Brian's email and also these weird things she's seeing, just says he is noticing them too. Then the phone goes dead. Of course security at Minds Alike has noticed this glitch starting to happen all throughout the game and users begin noticing it too. The virus is now in full swing and Mary feels very light-headed, and in that instant, she feels separated from her body, scared as she sees the world around her crumble. Security is furious as to what's happening and tries to stop it. The owner of Minds Alike calls security to let him know that he has a backup and not to worry, he'll just hit reset to initiate the backup and bring all Minds back into the game but this time a bit younger, so they are not so alerted by subtle changes in their environments. This is Mary, and this time she might remember what happened. <laughs> 